Hello my friends and Merry Christmas! Can you believe that it's already Christmas time? I sure can't. My friend Dewey here has something to show you today. Dewey, can I borrow this? It's this our beautiful ornament that we're going to make today for our Take and Learn craft. Can you believe how pretty these are? We're also going to be learning a new word and that is believe. Believe means to hold something to be true or accept something as truth. Let's go with our friend Miss Cindy and make these unbelievable crystal snowflakes. Well, we're going to do another activity. And this one I can honestly say I have never done before. So we are going to go through the instructions and we're going to learn this together. And hopefully it's going to turn out just the way it's supposed to. So the, the items that you're going to need are you're going to need pipe cleaners. You're going to need at least, um, I'd say four of them, maybe three. It depends on um, the cutting. So you're going to need pipe cleaners. You're going to need some kind of string. We're using a fishing line but you could use just about any kind of string, yarn, anything that you want. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need a jar that's got a wide enough lid to uh, be able to put in the snowflakes because we are making a crystal snowflake. We're actually going to make two of them so that um, you'll be able to see them uh, as they sit overnight and what happens. Then we need a box of borax detergent. And it's optional if you have blue food coloring or if you have green and yellow food coloring, you can make it blue. Uh, you can put a couple of drops of um, that in there to just kind of give it uh, a little bit more coloring. And you need boiling water. We need three five inch pipe cleaners per snowflake. So what I'm doing is I am just taking my ruler and I'm just taking and cutting it at five. Once you have one of these, then you can just kind of go along and hold them up. Like I said, you're going to need three five inch per snowflake. and then you're gonna add things to it. So that's why you need the extra here. Okay, let's see. I think that these, so there are three, four, five. And I thought it'd be really pretty to maybe put in a sparkly one on the edges. So we will see. I am doing the five again, and this is not an exact science. I mean, if they're a little bit bigger, well, no, a little bit smaller, you don't want them bigger because the snowflake has to hang in the jar without touching the sides in order for this to turn out. Uh, I imagine that it goes like this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one over and then I will put this over and then I will put this one in between here and I will get this one and then kind of like this. You can twist these any way you want to I am just uh, kind of just winging it here pretty much. Okay, that is looking a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to take this one here and I am just going to bring it up and then I'm going to take the other piece and bring it down. So that kind of gives you a nice little silver center there. Okay, now let's see how we did. Okay, I'm going to have to keep trimming this. 
um, it's like I said, uh, if you have a larger jaw, jar, you're going to be able to do this. But we had to kind of go through the kitchen here and see what we could find. So, a baby snowflake will be very cool too. Okay. This looks like... Uh, yeah. This is going to be a baby. Okay, now let's see. Is anything touching? With this one blue one. Uh, it's going to be just a little bit more. Just do like little cuts because you can always cut again, but uh, starting over would be your only option if you make it too small. So now you can see that that can hang without. So now what I can do with some of these little pieces and the little fuzzy ones, those are going to go in the trash. But with some of these little pieces, what we're going to do is we are going to then add a one and a half inch piece to each point. Well, since we've had to cut this down, it's not going to be quite like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece and we will see if it's big enough or if it's not. And it's not going to be. So, let's try a little piece, I think like that. And I'm going to kind of alternate the colors just to give it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, a, a more colorful and festive look. So, what I have done is I have put this around one piece at a time. I've got like a kind of a V here so that it kind of looks like a snowflake if you can see that. Now the pieces that I'm cutting let's see approximately how long those were. I'm going to say about an inch and a half, about an inch and a quarter. Uh, if you need help uh, I'm sure that someone would be more than happy to help you figure this part of it out. Okay, let's see if I got this right. I think I might have gotten this one a little bit bigger, but we will see. No two snowflakes are the same, so there really aren't any mistakes on this. It's just how you want it to look. Okay, now I have got a sharp little edge here, so be careful of that. And we are going to give that a little V. And that one actually looks better than the first one I did, but like I said, no snowflakes are the same. So now I have the silver, which I'm going to be using against the blue. And I think uh, about one and a quarter was about right. And I'm looking for my scissors here. Okay. And another little warning, do not use your best scissors because this has got wire in there and it will mess up your good scissors and will probably make your parents upset. So try to use some old scissors or that it doesn't take much. So we got one, two, and then we're going to do three and four. Okay, let's see how close these are. Okay, this one I'm gonna take just a little bit more off. Okay. I am only going to demonstrate making one of these. Um, then if you find that you really like it, then you can go ahead and make two. But we wanted to make two 
so that you could kind of watch the process. Um, our photographer, Ashley, bless her heart, I don't know how we would do this without her, uh, is uh, going to film the process because it will happen overnight and uh, that should be very exciting. I won't get to see that until it comes on because I won't be here tomorrow. Okay, so now we have that. I am going to quick do the other two. If you want to have uh, more of the blue sticking out, you can do that. Um, I am just twisting it around once. So there we have that. And then I'm going to do the last one here. So we will do this and there. Uh, kind of make sure that they're all the way you want. Uh, let's see here. Now, this is going to be the problem again. So, what we need to do is clip off a little of this. Be careful not to cut the pipe cleaner that comes next because that will uh, make problems. And be careful not to cut yourself because it can be easy to do when you're concentrating on something to not pay attention to where your fingers are. I speak from many years of experience. <laughs> Every once in a while I will snip a piece of my finger because I'm not paying attention. Okay, that one came off and I have a sneaky feeling that what I'm going to have to do <sighs> is put these snowflakes, these pieces that I just put on, you're going to have to put them further down so that it's not larger than the original snowflake. So we're going to try to spread these out so that they're not extending past your snowflake. <laughs> So if you have to unwind it and do it, like I have to do with this one, then that's what you have to do. Uh, you just never know, and I don't know if I can figure out how I did this one. Aha, there we go. So you just kind of straighten it out and put it down a little bit lower, and I'm gonna twist it like that and twist it like this. And then you're going to go. Some of these are loose enough to where I could kind of do it. Make sure that they are straight. This one I'm going to snip just the tiniest bit. Um, and this one probably a tiny bit. And if you're not comfortable with cutting like this, I'm sure that there's an adult or someone uh, that can help you with the cutting. So, now we have got our snowflake. Now comes the challenging part. Let's see how we did. And it is a success. As you can see, this is not touching. So, yay. So our next process is to kind of clean this away. Now, we're going to put three tablespoons. That is your, your big one. Uh, and make sure that your water is hot. We are using one of these heating pots, which are great, but uh, boiling water of any kind will, will work. Okay, so the borax here, as you can see, gets like little lumps in it. So you just kind of smooth it with your tablespoon. And then you take, uh, this stuff has kind of gotten hard in here. 
And what you want to do is if you want to make sure, take your, your fork, your pencil. Yes, I will get the right word. And there is one. And then we will go. Yeah, this box is kind of clumpy. It doesn't get used a whole lot. Two. So what they say is you take your string and you tie it around the pencil and I'm going to actually I think I will tie it around the snowflake first so let's take your scissors and cut a piece Say approximately, what do I have here? Well, probably about 13 inches, 14 inches. You can always cut it off, but you don't want to have to redo because it's not long enough. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this, you take this string, and you're going to try and get it up here. Try to make sure that you tie this to one of the um, point that is on fairly snugly uh, so that it doesn't fall. So we go uh, with wire. It's a little bit more challenging. I almost think that yarn would be a really good thing because it might crystal all the way up to the pencil that way, but we will find out. Okay. It is swirling around, which means it's not touching. And I think I just dropped a little piece of uh, a pipe cleaner into the bottom. So now this is going to sit overnight. Be careful, the jar does get hot when you have all this water in it. So be sure that you're aware of the fact that you're, you're dealing with boiling water. Dewey, can you believe how easy these were to make? Because I sure can. Dewey wants to see all of your gorgeous creations, so if your moms and dads can take pictures of you holding your crystal snowflakes and email them to library at gmail.com, we would love to see them and post them on all of our social media pages. Goodbye everyone and have a Merry Christmas.